gonna show you how to make some uh, paper today and make some paper pulp and then go outside and actually make some paper. And you were just looking at some different papers that children have made over the years and some different ways we've done it, um, adding color to the pulp or painting on top of it once we're done, um, adding some flowers and glitter, and you could even do some three-dimensional things um, with it, such as making beads. Um, so those are some of the, the, the things that you can do with the paper making. Um, I made, um, the pulp that I made today is made out of egg cartons, paper towel rolls, and brown paper bags. But you can use any um, recycled, reclaimed um, paper products that you want. Um, I also have collected some colored um, cardboard containers that I think would be make a neat pulp as well so they would have some color already to them there. So what I do is I break up my um, either the cardboard or I cut up the brown paper bags into about one inch to one and a half inch uh, pieces, soak it in water, then blend it up in the blender. And so then you get this um, pulp get this pulp and then um, if you want to make it a little bit thicker you can add some cotton to it so the cotton makes it a little fluffier and it makes the the pulp a little bit nicer um, so anyways I have some different the cotton comes in a form called linters these sheets and you can buy really big sheets or you can buy smaller sheets. So these are just some small sheets. Normally I buy really big sheets of it. But we have cotton, denim. This is like from a banana plant and this is from a bamboo plant. But there's all different kinds of linters that you can get. You can also get the cotton in this form and um, it's very, very fluffy. So you can't just use this because your paper will be too fluffy. It won't um, have enough um, fiber. It won't, it won't be thick enough. Or um, it won't be stiff enough so you kind of need some of this stuff to thicken to stiffen it up so anyways I am gonna add a little bit of this to my uh, pulp to just to give it a little fluffiness and I'm going to show you kind of how the linters work so um, you can just easily rip the up into little pieces like I said like one inch pieces and um, Add that into the water it breaks up really super easily once it's in the water and um, then you just blend that up okay now we're gonna go take that outside and add that to the rest of my pulp mixture but before we go, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what you'll need um, to, make the, to, to make the paper. So you'll need what's called a deckle, and it's made with just a wooden frame. And then you take some screen door mesh, and you can staple that around it. Now this one has a, a piece to put on top if you want, but you don't actually need this piece. In fact, I don't actually use that piece. And then you'll also need a sponge to um, sop up the extra water. So when we go outside, I'll show you the sponge that I usually buy it at um, um, like a, a fabric store where they have different um, foams for padding for padding projects. Okay, so uh, let's go outside and make some paper. <laughs> 